G'day guys, Adrian from Casabella Built. Today we're creating some content on a very important topic that sometimes gets overlooked in our building industry, and that is waterproofing. If not done correctly, waterproofing can cause major structural problems to your home. During this video, we'll be referencing the AS3740, which is the Australian standard for waterproofing. Let's start off by taking a look at step one, which is the preparation of the room. First and most important part of waterproofing is prepping the room. This can be done by cleaning all the surfaces from dust, dirt and building debris. While this is taking place, you can measure, mark and tape the room so you know exactly where to apply your waterproofing so it complies with the AS3740. In this clip, you can see we have gone the extra mile and used the level to mark the heights for waterproofing termination heights. This is not required, but it will make the job look a lot more professional. Step two, bond breakers. After the room has been thoroughly cleaned and all your waterproofing guidelines have been marked, it's time to apply your polyurethane silicon to the junctions of the room. Step three, water stops. Water stops are very important and quite often I see bathrooms without water stops leaking and causing a lot of damage to people's homes. Always remember to apply water stops under the doors and to the outside of the shower base. Step four, primer. Before applying your primer, remember to check and see if the primer is compatible with the waterproofing you're using. If not, the waterproofing will struggle to bond to the primer. The primer should be applied to the entire bathroom. Step five, bond breakers and waterproofing. Starting off at the junctions of the bathroom, apply your waterproof with a paintbrush. Then apply your fabric bandage over the waterproof to help the bandage bond to the wall. After all wall junctions have been bandaged and waterproof, it's time to apply the bulk of the waterproofing to the bathroom. Using a roller, apply the waterproofing to the walls with a thick coat. After the walls and floors and shower base areas have been completed, you'll need to set up a fan and help the waterproof dry. This project will need to be repeated depending on the type of waterproofing used on the job. Please read the waterproofing manufacturing specifications and make sure you have used it correctly because some waterproofing needs more coats than others. Thanks for watching our content and I hope this content has been very helpful and educational. If you're looking to find out any more information about a bathroom renovation, please reach out to us at www.casabellabuilt.com.au